it's about communication. And I've been setting processes in place that basically have inputs and outputs for every department. So the second uh, ANR is speaking to an artist in management. We need certain inputs to evaluate criteria based on whether the likelihood of success of this record based on our viewpoint. Then once it's in the deal phase, we have input in that in the sense of, you know, what if the deal terms, if it's a simple P and D deal where we have very little percentage, that's going to greatly affect the amount of resources we allocate to a DTC effort. If it's a JV, on the other hand, where you know, the, every you know, minute we put in can generate more revenue for everybody, then that certainly has a bearing. And then uh, once it moves through the process of release, right, production is involved, whether it's uh, creating download codes for uh, powering uh, download cards for LPs, uh, whether it's you know, creating exclusive versions for D2C campaigns. And you get to radio and publicity, giving tools to them, absolutely in line with what you said, uh, to, to show them certain data points that they wouldn't see otherwise to find opportunities, and vice versa, having them give us data that shows where these consumers really are and finding uh, areas of engagement we wouldn't see otherwise. And it goes without saying the digital marketing team, it works closely with D2C. And so it's, it does not work in a vacuum. And I think, getting back to the point of the deal, that, that's something where I've been working really with, with all our managers and our legal team to figure out how do we more closely define this because if a label is, is getting involved and putting in resources, I mean I have an entire team of people that I have to allocate as I was saying across all these different albums, I need to know realistically what the ROI is going to be and it certainly varies across every single release but we have to have it on paper. It's it, it's too much effort to execute properly if at the end the manager could simply say, well, it's not in the deal, so we're taking all that profit or all that margin. You know, the, the, to the point of merch and ticketing in particular. It's one thing for album sales. It's relatively straightforward. Yeah. You're either getting wholesale, you're getting artist price, maybe cost of goods sold if you're feeling generous. But when it comes to merch, right, if we're putting together a $200 package with all this different merch, uh, the, the deal terms matter. Are we sourcing that merch and we're putting the money up front? Well then, should we get the lion's share? Are we simply buying it from the artist or their, their merch company at, at wholesale? Then, then have they already made their money or are then we going to split the margin? There's all these minute details that until you get into the thick of it across a lot of artists per deal, you just don't realize that it's not as simple as, oh, let's put a bundle together, we'll sell it and split the profit. It's never that simple. It's never 